we have a Cedric Steebling from Tricklewood. Hello, Cedric. Hello, Clive. Uh, tell me, Cedric, uh, what is your take on the uh, the miners' dispute? Uh, well, I would say uh, more give than take, I think, to be honest. Um, definitely more give than take. I wouldn't want to take anything more away from the miners. No, I mean, mining is a filthy job. Extracting lumps of coal out of the, goal, the ground uh, is a particularly filthy vocation, and I feel that the filthy nature of the work is something that is so very uh, often overlooked, uh, Clive. Uh, yeah, yes, well, I, I, it's a point uh, that mon, uh, not many of uh, our callers um, have made. So, so uh, I take it you, uh, you have sympathy for the mining uh, communities then? Uh, yes, I do have a very deep sympathy for the miners. Um, a very deep sympathy indeed. Um, I know, uh, you see, that it, what it's like um, digging into the ground. Uh, so you, uh, you do a lot of digging, uh, do you, Cedric? Uh, no, uh, not always personally, you understand, but I am um, uh, very familiar with the rigours of digging, and I must say uh, that digging is a most rigorous activity, uh, very rigorous indeed. Y yes, I am, I'm sure it is. Uh, one uh, cannot overstate the uh, filthy nature of digging alongside the rigours involved. No, I'm sure, I'm sure that's right. And um, may I ask uh, why it is you are so familiar with the, uh, the filth and the rigours of digging? Uh, I'm a funeral director. Ah, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, that's what my last client said before we buried him. Now, here's a funny thing. Not that there are very many funny things about funeral directing. Funeral directing isn't known for its humour, Clive. But you must know uh, that we have never gone on strike, ever. Not even a go slow. Now, now I know what you're going to say. Uh, you are going to tell me that we don't dig as deep as the miners. And of course you'd be right, of course. We, we only dig um, about two metres. And the average coal mine is about 1,500 metres deep. So there are far more rigours involved in the mining and far more filth. Those levels of rigour and filth would make our job very, well, very, very difficult. Not impossible, Clive. You see, we have to look spick and span for the grieving relatives. So there is no place for filth and coal dust in the funeral trade. No place at all. Which is why I do have a very great deal of sympathy for the miners. Very great sympathy indeed. Of course, as a funeral director, I am no stranger to sympathy. And coming over all sympathetic. It is an occupational hazard. Well, well thank you very much indeed, Cedric from Cricklewood, for that interesting and, and memorable contribution tonight. I don't think we'll forget that one in a long while. The nasal voice of Cedric sounded vaguely familiar, but Brian couldn't place it. He switched off the radio and just lay on his back. He could make out the dark outline of the lampshades on the ceiling light. His parents used to have a similar arrangement, hanging in their 1930s semi and pinner. Then he suddenly sat up. The voice on the radio came back into his head, and now he recognised it. It was unmistakable. It was that mad genius. It was his comedy hero. It was the inimitable Peter Cook. He fell back onto his pillow, smiling, and instantly fell into a deep, deep sleep.